Thomas the Tank Engine enjoyed nothing more than puffing cheerfully down his branch line with Annie and Clarabelle. Do come along, we shan't be late. Do come along, we shan't be late. He would sing to them. The coaches would sing back. Thomas also loves whistling a hello to everyone he meets. He whistles to Birdie and all his other friends. But one morning, things were different. Thomas had just woken up looking rather sad. Why ever the long face, Thomas? Edward asked. You don't look like your usual cheerful self, added Percy. I don't know. Thomas sighed. I don't feel ill or anything. I only just woke up. Huh, grunted Gordon. Perhaps you're not getting enough sleep. Or maybe you just took on some bad coal in the morning, said James smugly. He's done nothing of the sort, said Henry. He is just sad and doesn't know why. Henry is right, added Edward. You two should have more empathy in him. Gordon and James subsided at once. Well, I hope you get better eventually, Thomas. Percy sympathized. Thomas just sighed. Once his driver and fireman came for him, he puffed off to work. Throughout the day, Thomas didn't have any accidents. He just did his job well and ran right on time. Thank you there, Thomas. Right on time. But he was so sad. The other engines Thomas passed were worried about him. Even Annie and Clarabelle. What's the big one? What's the big one? They said to each other, and all Thomas could do was sigh. Thomas pulled into the car car right on time and went into one of the signs to take a break. He sat gloomily as his driver and fireman walked over to the platform. They returned a short while later with a boy, but unlike other children, this one was older and much more reserved. Thomas, said his driver, this is my 13-year-old son Samuel, and he would like to speak to you. Now why are you sad today? asked Samuel. I don't know. Thomas sighed. I don't feel ill or had any accidents. I just did my job well and ran right on time, and yet I don't feel my cheerful self. I think I know why, said Samuel. You seem to be having an off day. An off day? asked Thomas, sounding surprised. Yeah, Samuel replied. An off day is a day when you don't feel right. I know I have my fair share of off days sometimes whenever I'm at school. Thomas was intrigued. So how do you get over it? He asked. I simply look on the bright side before I know it, replied Samuel. Throughout my off days at school, I became less upset and more lively. So the thing is, you just have to be upset for a little while, until eventually, before you know it, you start looking on the bright side. And for the first time all day, Thomas smiled. You cheer me up, Samuel. Thank you, he said. You are most welcome, Thomas, said Samuel. Very well said, son, said Thomas's driver. But you better get going. Your mother is waiting. Well, goodbye, Thomas. Nice meeting you. Nice meeting you too, Samuel, and thank you once again. And with that, Samuel walked away while Thomas' driver and farmer went back into his cab, and Thomas popped proudly back to work. Do come along, we shan't be late. Do come along, we shan't be late. Thanks to Samuel, Thomas felt much better as he puffed along his branch line. And that evening, Thomas returned to Timmy's sheds a much happier engine. Feeling better already, Thomas? Said Edward. Yes, Edward, I am. Thomas said cheerfully. Well, how did it go? Asked Percy. I had some help from my driver's son. Thomas explained. He told me that I can be upset for a little while, until eventually, before I know it, I look up on the bright side, and I did. Oh, we are glad, remarked Henry. And we are very sorry for what we said this morning, said Gordon. We just didn't know you had an off day, said James. Apology accepted, smiled Thomas, and when night came, he and all the other engines fell happily to sleep.